This is the Starkiller Saber from Saber Theory. I just recently got this and I wanted to show it to you guys in a full length video, so that's what I'm gonna do. I also have his other saber here from the first game with the Crystal Chamber. I've made a full video over this as well. It will be down in the description for you to find. You can also use my code Tuka on anything at Saber Theory to save yourself some credits and to support me a bit. I'm also gonna have a lot of close up shots during this whole thing so you can see exactly what I'm unboxing because the camera is at a bit of a distance and it might be hard to see. So you're gonna see everything in full detail here and I really hope you guys enjoy. First things first is we have the hilt and bubble wrap. It's really nice that they do that because it comes protected and it won't come scratched up. Boom, get that out of here. We don't need that. It's really shiny, very glossy, kind of a fingerprint magnet, but I think I like that because that means shiny. Moving on to the next item, which is the blade. I got a 32 inch. I always try to get one of these if I can because they're a little bit lighter. And in my opinion, they're the perfect length. They're not too short, so it doesn't look ridiculous when you spin it. And it's also the perfect weight for when you spin. So I'm a big fan of 32 inch blades. We've also got a charger over here, which I guess now comes in the same bag as the retention screws and Allen wrench. So that's new. We've got a blade plug here, which I'm hoping looks better in this saber because sometimes the blade plugs that they include don't really fit the sabers that they come with. But sometimes they do. And I think this one might actually look good in this one. So we'll see. Of course, have the wrap right here because there's supposed to be a wrap right in this section. Next up, we have the stand. I'm a really big fan of these stands. All you gotta do is peel off the brown wrapping because of course it doesn't look too good right now. But overall, these are really nice. And this one doesn't come with a name plated part, but that's okay. And lastly, we have the manual, which I've always really liked doing this. These are honestly really nice manuals. Like it has a picture of so many different sabers on here. I'm gonna put a close up on the screen so you can see it. That is everything that comes in this case. If you buy a replica Saber, you're gonna get the nice little case with the three latches and the Saber Theory logo on the top. These are really good cases to have so you can protect your Saber and just store your stuff in them. I'm a big fan of them myself. I actually really like this Saber without the wrap. It feels extremely comfortable right here in this little area, even though it's kind of bare. Um, I've only ever put a wrap on one other Saber and that was my Boon Kestis or my Seer Junda. And yeah, I think this will definitely look better with the wrap, but I really do like it without it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to use the Saber and let you know everything you need to know about it and how to use it properly. So to get to the chassis, we're gonna unscrew right here in the center, remove the pommel piece. Here is the chassis. We've got a standard 18650 flat top battery with a USB-C charging port right underneath that, as well as the speaker right underneath that and on the other side, the profi board itself. This is a static chassis, it is non-removable, so it will not come out. We'll go ahead and put the pommel back on. You can unscrew at the very bottom here, but it won't do anything but show you the speaker. We have some speaker vents on the bottom. This is a two button profi setup with the main power button on the top and the auxiliary button underneath it. You can press the main power button once to turn it on and off. You can press the aux button while on to get blaster deflection. Hold the aux button and clash the saber to get lightsaber lockup. If you hold the power button while it's on, you'll get force effects. I am a I'm gonna show you guys how to get tip drag and wall melt, and we're gonna start with wall melt. First thing you wanna do, hold the aux button and thrust the saber forward. You might accidentally go into lightsaber lockup, but if you do, just try it again. To get tip drag, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but have the saber pointed down. This has gesture controls. You can twist the saber to the right to turn it on and off. To change fonts, all you have to do is press the aux button while it's off. To enter volume change mode, all you need to do is hold the aux button while it's off for about a second and a half. You'll hear that beep and then you can use both buttons to toggle up and down. Going down, that's up, and that beep right there means you're at max volume so you can hold the aux button for a second and a half again to get out of it. Any font on the Saber can be any color, and to change it, all you need to do is have the Saber on. Hit the aux button, and then the power button right after. 
You're gonna hear a sound, twist to the color that you want, and then you're gonna hit the main power button to confirm. The color will stay that way until you have removed the battery. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how to turn on the music. You're gonna hold the main power button while it's off. Count Hestus.